Chapter 3, Section 7, Part 1, Solving Absolute Value Equations. To solve an absolute value equation, you're going to isolate the absolute value. Then you're going to write two equations. One where what's inside of the absolute value is set equal to a positive, and one where what's inside of your absolute value is set equal to a negative number. Both answers when set equal to a positive and set equal to a negative are going to be solutions to the equation. The first example says what are the solutions of the absolute value of x plus 3 equals 7 and then it asks us to graph the solutions. The first thing that I want to make sure that I point out is notice the two bars on either side of the x. That is the absolute value symbol. Whatever is inside of the absolute value symbol, if it is a negative, it is turned positive. It's kind of like parentheses. Um, you're going to do whatever's inside of the absolute value symbol. And then if, if you got a negative answer for the in, inside of your absolute value symbol, the absolute value changes it to a positive number. If it's already a positive number, then it's not going to change it. It's just going to stay a positive. So notice the only thing inside of the absolute value in this example is x. Notice that plus 3 is on the outside of the absolute value symbol. That means that my, my absolute value is not isolated yet. To be isolated, I would have to have the absolute value on one side by itself. I use inverse operations, just like when I was solving equations, to get the absolute value by itself. So to get rid of the plus 3, I need to subtract 3 from both sides. When I subtract 3 from both sides, I get the absolute value of x equals 4. Now that my absolute value is isolated or alone on one side by itself, I can set it equal to a positive 4 because notice the number on the right side of my equation is a 4. So I'm going to keep the 4 and I'm going to say that x could equal a positive 4 or x could equal a negative 4. With both of these numbers, 4 and negative 4, are solutions to this equation. When you plug in 4, the absolute value of 4 plus 3 is 7. And when you plug in negative 4, <clears throat> the absolute value of negative 4 is 4 plus 3 is 7. <clears throat> To graph the solutions, they want us to plot these points on a number line. Notice I'm not going to have to shade um, in any one direction because this is not an inequality. It just says that x equals 4 and x equals negative 4. So to graph the solutions on my number line, I just put points at 4 and negative 4. The next example says your cousin was standing along a parade route when she spotted a float 700 feet from her. The parade was traveling at 158 feet per minute. The distance from your cousin in feet after t minutes is given by d equals the absolute value of 750 minus 158 t. At what times is the float 200 feet from your cousin? Round to the nearest tenth. If I want to know the distance from my cousin was 200 feet, I'm going to plug in 200 for D. So I'm going to plug in 200 and say that 200 equals the absolute value of 750 minus 158T. Notice that the absolute value is already isolated on the right side of your equation. Because it's already isolated, I'm already ready to break this up. Remember, I'm going to set 1 equal to a positive 200 equals 750 minus 158t. And then I'm going to say that 1 is a negative 200 equals 750 minus 158t. Now I have two different equations to solve. I need to solve both of them. <clears throat> you are not going to get the same answer for both of these, situa of these equations. <laughs> so you're going to have to solve now these two different equations to find the two answers to this equation. 
I'm going to start with the positive 200 equals 750 minus 158t. I need to get rid of the 750 first, so I'm going to subtract it from both sides, and I wind up with negative 550 equals negative 158t. Now I need to divide both sides by a negative 158, and when I do that, I get a 3.5 equals t. Now I need to do solve the equation negative 200 equals 750 minus 158t. To do this, I subtract 750 from both sides. I get negative 950 equals negative 158t. Now I need to divide both sides by negative 158. And when I do that, I get 6 equals t. What this means is that it, the float is going to be 200 feet away from my cousin in 3.5 minutes and in 6 minutes. So my answer is D. If you think about this, it makes sense that there would be two answers to this problem. Because when the float is 200 feet away from her, it could have not passed her yet and be 200 feet away from her, and then it's going to be 200 feet away from her again after it's passed her. So it makes sense that we could have two different answers to this uh, problem. The next example says, what are the solutions of 5, the absolute value of 3x minus 1, and then plus 6 equals 3? Notice what is inside of the absolute value is the 3x minus 1. So what I need to get rid of to isolate the variable, or to isolate the absolute value is adding 6, and then I would be multiplying the 3x minus 1 by 5 because it is written outside of the absolute value symbol. In order to do this, remember I use inverse operations. So the first thing that I need to do is get rid of my addition or subtraction. So I need to subtract 6 from both sides, which gives me 5, the absolute value of 3x minus 1, equals negative 3. Now I need to divide both sides by 5. And when I divide both sides by 5, I find that 3x minus 1 equals a negative 3 fifths. If you think back to what the absolute value does to a number, the absolute value keeps a positive a positive and it changes a negative to a positive. So if you have isolated your absolute value, which in this case I have, I have the absolute value of 3x minus 1 on one side and then I have equals a negative 3 fifths. If you are taking the absolute value of something, of a number, it is never going to be negative. Because the absolute, absolute value of something can never be negative, this statement, the absolute value of 3x minus 1 equals a negative 3 fifths, it cannot be solved. There is no solution. An absolute value cannot be negative, so there is no solution. Today's assignment is on page 224. It's numbers 2 through 30 even.